Yo, what's up guys? Je loose pen. Yo, what's up guys? Jason Ma, the Magician, and welcome back to day number 24 of the 365 day project. And boy, do we have something to celebrate. If you would please address this portion of the screen, you will notice we did it, baby. We cracked 2,000 subscribers. I can't believe we cracked 2,000 subscribers. That's insane. If you had asked me at the beginning of this entire thing how many subscribers I would have by the end of it, I would have said 2K, maybe 3K if I'm lucky. And here we are, only day 24, sitting on 2,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much much. On top of that, your boy Jason also went viral on Reddit again for the trick that I did on day number 10. If you haven't seen it yet, go back and check it out. But look, look at all those upvotes. That right there. Oh yeah, you make me happy. But truth be told guys, the 365 squad is absolutely crushing it. We are killing it and I couldn't do it without you guys, so I thank you all so much. And also guys, if you haven't already and you feel like being a part of the community, join our little Facebook group. It's in the description below. We all just kind of hang out. We share ideas. Maybe you can show me some of your magic tricks or share some memes. There have been a few memes shared. My absolute favorite one is hands down this one <laughs> because the likeness is insane. This is definitely what I'm going to look like by day 200. <laughs> but seriously guys, thank you all so much for being on this journey with me. It's been a wild ride and it's only day 24. So there's still so much more fun to be had. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell and like the video because we got to feed the algorithm lords. I don't know why I'm doing this. I imagine that the algorithm lords look a lot like the predator. But anyway guys, with all that, let's roll the stinger. And let's do a magic trick. All right, here it is guys, the magic portion of the episode. Only I'm so ecstatic that we've cracked 2K. I figure why not just celebrate, you know? So look, we've got the wishing paper. We can actually light this bad boy up. Hang on a sec, I gotta light it up with the lighter. There it is. And if we take this and we just light the paper up, we're actually going to get a little party popper. And these things are the ultimate way to party. Woo! I hope you guys enjoyed that trick. I know it was just a quick one, so here's something a little extra for you. You can take an old used party popper and just with a shake, it becomes a green used party popper. <laughs> But seriously guys, 2,000 subscribers. You know, I remember being younger and watching all of these guys on social media platforms doing all of this amazing stuff. And I always wished I could get a following like that. I could have people watch me and like what I'm doing. And you know what? It's so surreal that it's happening, that we're growing, that this is all coming together. It's like a dream come true. So thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate all of you. <laughs> you have no idea. But also guys, get excited because tomorrow, me and Josh are doing some street magic. We're gonna go to Fortitude Valley. So if you just happen to be around that area, you can come watch a trick, of course. But otherwise, we're gonna be in Fortitude Valley and we're gonna entertain people live with some crazy magic. I've got some great ideas of tricks that I just can't do to a camera that I need a spectator uh, for the trick to work. And I'm gonna do that trick tomorrow. You'll have to stay tuned to see what it is. So in the last video, I told two dad jokes. I don't know, I just thought they were funny and I wanted to share it with you guys. But then you guys absolutely blew up the comments with dad jokes of your own. And truthfully, I had to do five shows today and in between each show, I was certainly chuckling at my phone reading your comments. So here are two of my favorite dad jokes that you guys sent me. Brian Ware said this joke, I thought it was super funny. So here it is. What do you call a magician who's single? Homeless. <laughs> It's funny because it's true, especially during COVID. <laughs> and Jim Flanagan told this joke, which I thought was super funny and actually requires a little acting. <laughs> Bravo, man. Like, how'd you do that trick? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, you should tell my wife. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for the laughs. But anyway, guys, that's day number 24 and I'm super stoked. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow for day number 25. We're moving through it, man.